Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick look at the experimental multi-window feature that's built into Android M. Now it is available on the developer preview, but not by default. You have to do a little build prop edit, which can either be done on device if you have root or using ADB if you don't. And yes, I have included a guide in the description if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. But once you've done the build prop edit and you've rebooted your device, you can go ahead and actually enable the options. So if we dive into the settings menu here, Head over to the developer options. If you don't have that, just tap the build number seven times. Then you want to scroll down to where the animation scales are and just under secondary display, you'll see the multi-window mode. That option was not there before the build prop edit. And yeah, you can definitely see Google is working on its own multi-window mode. It, when you turn it on, it gives you this disclaimer saying that, you know, it's highly experimental, expect some bugs, expect some forced closes. But once you click enable, that's it. If you go into your recents, you'll see a little icon next to the X that basically allows you to choose multi-window. It will then give you options for top half, bottom half and full screen. So we'll just try and put this on the top half. And there you can see it's split two apps. It's the settings on the top and the calculator at the bottom. These are fully functional apps. Obviously, it does look a little bit funny on the Nexus 5 considering it doesn't have the biggest display. This would work a lot better on the Nexus 6 and even more so on an Android tablet. And to be honest, that's probably more what it's geared towards rather than actual mobile phones. We'll go ahead and try YouTube here. We'll put that on the top. And yeah, you can see there it has split the screen with YouTube. I can scroll through the application. We have the Google Play Store on the bottom half as well, so we can scroll through that. Performance feels relatively smooth. Of course, the apps are kind of crazy small on the Nexus 5, so it is actually quite difficult to use them in multi-window. It probably makes more sense if you were going to put a video on the top half. So we'll just go ahead and, and we'll play a video and see if this works. And there you can see the video is playing and I can control the uh, Google Play Store on the bottom, something like that. You can see when it tries to go full screen, it does kind of confuse itself. The status bar has gone a bit wonky and you have to pull back the uh, the on-screen buttons. But it does work. Of course, it is an experimental feature. It will be interesting to see what Google does with this, how far they get, if they really do it any different to Samsung or LG or anyone like that. So yeah. Be aware that once you've selected an application for multi-window, if you go ahead and press the icon on the home screen, it will jump back into that split screen mode. So to get rid of that, you can just go ahead and swipe them away. Then when you reopen them, it will be back into full screen mode. So there you go guys, that's the experimental multi-view feature baked into Android M. For me, it's gonna be much more effective on a larger tablet screen. It should be awesome for multitasking. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'll catch you in the next one guys. Peace out.